Hello and welcome again to another screencast edition of Autodesk Maya. Today we'll be focusing on detailing part one of it. Uh, so we already pretty much um, did the detailing on the hands and we did the detailing of pretty much using the duplicate special provided and merging the vertices into it. Now what we're going to do is proceed forward uh, to put in the details. So depending how Maya is working for you right now, uh, sometimes Maya has a bug, so we have to reset uh, the image plane that is provided. So we'll use that. Do the same thing here in all views right here. So I need this uh, on my perspective view to see what I need to do and what I need to put in. So that's that. So I've already set up onto this. I'm going to start with my belt right here. Let's see where I'm at right here. I'll use my paint selection tool here as a guide to make the belt. Here we go. Here. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to press Control E to extrude, flip the switch to reset the point of origins. And use the middle uh, scale tool, which you can easily access by clicking on one of the uh, scale manipulator tools here to help you out and guide you through. Okay, I'm going to press G again. There you go. may have to sp uh, space it out here and here. There we go. We'll have to fix this later, but <clears throat> this will be a good start. At that point, go back to object mode. Now that I have my belt, I can fix this later on. Now, the next decision is all to make the tunic uh, part of it, uh, of the character. So I'm going to have to make the decision on rem in regards to placement. So let's see here. I can either go this way to extrude on my edges. Uh, that way, so it could work. Let's see. Let's look at my image here. All right, then. And I could use the spacing, either spacing from here or here. This is why I made two extrusions, just to make sure I have enough space within said area. So I'm going to go with this part, because I at least have enough sufficient space within <coughs> from said area. So I'm going to press Control e to extrude. You set the point of origins here. Now if you notice, um, the spacing here of this, let's see here, I'm going to stop on this point, here's the face node right here, Mesh display, reverse. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is reverse normals. There 
Okay. Adjust this one here because I probably accidentally selected that. Anyways, let's see here. Let's go to Edge. Edge loop utilities. Adjust anything from there. Yeah. So now that I've got that. So I'm going to start off on these points here by double clicking to make like a quick selection. Um, since the part sort of parts within the tunic, so I'm going to start to extrude here. I'm going to use extrusions, then I'm going to have to merge some vertices here and there. Just, just enough space here and here. We have to scale it outwards just a little bit. One more time here. Pull E to extrude one more time. One set space. There we go. And there we have the first part. I'm going to do the second part right here of the parting of the tunic. Now, mind you, uh, I'm going to have to merge some vertices here. That can easily be done. So again, I'm going to extrude. We flip the switch here. Press G to extrude again, flip and reset the switch for the point of origin. Make a drop here. And one more time, just reflip the switch. Bring down the tunic. Now, since we've got that part done, I'm going to go to object mode, then back to vertex, and begin to uh, merge the vertices. But this concludes today's uh, screencast tutorial of Autodesk Maya.